Hey guys, today I got a tutorial for you um, and some quick tips on how to use your web browser a little more efficiently using hotkeys. Uh, hotkeys are basically just uh, keystrokes that you use on your keyboard that allow you to um, do things a little more quickly um, instead of you know clicking and you know right clicking and opening up this menu and doing this and that you just press a couple of buttons and it does it for you instead of doing all that clicking. So the first tip is how to enlarge the text and pictures on your screen. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down the control button and press plus. And if you notice, every time I press plus, the text and the picture gets larger on the screen. Now to reverse that, you hold control and press minus. Uh, this is good for, you know, reading. Um, like if you're like me, you have your big screen TV hooked up to uh, your desktop. So when I'm sitting on my couch and I'm browsing the web, um, it's really hard to read the text. So I gotta, you know, I gotta enlarge that text. So Control Plus and Control Minus. So quick tip number two is going to be an easy search function inside your web browser. So I'm going to quickly just go to Wikipedia here, and we're going to do a little search. Uh, let's say for newspapers. Now, if you're on a website like Wikipedia, like there's a lot of information here to go through, right? Um, you may be looking for something very specific. Um, let's pick a word here. So Europe. We're going to be looking for Europe. So you're going to hold Control and hit F. And you'll notice it brings up a little find feature here. It's a little search function. So if I start typing in Europe, you'll notice down here it already highlighted Europe. Now you can also click to the next one. It'll jump to the next Europe in the article. Or you can go to the previous. Now you notice I'm clicking here, but underneath uh, these letters you might see a little uh, underline. These are hotkeys. So you don't even need to use your mouse at all. You could delete this, press Control F, type in Europe. Now any hotkey that you're going to be using, you're going to hold Alt. So you hit Alt and N, because N is for next, and you'll notice it does the exact same thing. Or hold Alt and press P for previous. Or it says highlight all, you can hold Alt and hit A, which highlights them all. So you can just scroll through at your own pace without it jumping and it'll find all the same same words. So that is quick tip number two for searching and it'll find any text that you type in here and it's not case sensitive. So quick tip number three using the backspace button when browsing. So let's just search for something here. Search for cats. So we're gonna go on we got I don't know some funny cat pictures here on uh, I can has a cheeseburger. So you're viewing and you're having a good time looking at all the stuff. Ha ha ha, it's great. You don't have to click the, the back button. You can just hit backspace and it'll immediately go back to uh, the previous page. Yeah, backspace. Very easy. You don't have to do as much clicking. You can just, you can have one hand on the keyboard, left hand on the keyboard, right hand on the mouse, and that way you don't have to keep clicking up there. Quick tip number four, uh, using hotkeys for pull-down menus. Now, if you hold the, uh, the Alt key, you'll see that the, uh, the file menu will come down here. Now, normally you would click on this, and then you'd, you know, you'd be scrolling between what you want to do. But sometimes, so let's say, for example, I want to get rid of uh, my bookmark toolbar here. So normally you'd have to click on View, click on Toolbars, hover this over, scroll down to here, to click that off. Now, that can be a pain in the butt. Sometimes seeing like, you know, you're trying to get there and you're like, oh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I want. Boom. Right? Very frustrating sometimes. Sometimes you click on the wrong thing and then something else is popping up and it's, it's wasting your time. With the hotkeys, if you hold the Alt key, the menu will come up. Then you can just press the corresponding hotkey letter that is underlined. So in this case, V is underlined, so V, 
And then we want toolbars, so the T is underlined, and the bookmark toolbar is B. Boom, gone. So Alt V T B. Look how quick that is. Alt V T B. Alt V T B. Much easier than oh click. Let me get over, oh, get over here. Click. Quick tip number five. Now, I made it number five for a reason. Because you're going to be using the F5 key. F5 refreshes your page. So we'll go to, say you're on a website like Reddit, which is a forum, and uh, people are constantly uh, posting comments or uh, putting new content on. Um, you know, you're sitting up here trying to click this every time you want to refresh a page. It could be annoying because you could be hitting this and accidentally, oops, you know, that's not what I wanted. You could go into web address or in some browsers, uh, the refresh button is again near the close and maximize. So you could actually close the browser window by accident. It's a pain in the butt. So in this case, you don't even need to be up near the web address bar. You can just press F5. And you'll notice up here that every time I press F5, it refreshes. F5, refresh, refresh. Very simple. Quick tip number six. Uh, the print screen button. Um, print screen, if you just tap it, just tap it right now, press it once, what that does is it captures the entire screen as you see it to the clipboard. Now I have paint open here and you'll notice if I paste, I just pressed it, everything from my desktop, including the web address bar, all, like all the way to the end, the clock, everything was captured. So you may be on a website and uh, say you, you know you want you want the Google image and say for some reason your right mouse button is broken or you're on a website where uh, you right click and um, it won't allow you to save the image. You can just print screen and then you get the image that you want from that. Boom, let's do new, boom, and there you go. Quick tip number seven. Um, I opened a bunch of mock folders and things right here um, just to show you. You may be browsing, you may get some pop-ups or things that are really, really annoying. Or you may have a bunch of things open and uh, it's all cluttered. And instead of trying to sit here and click on every little X and get everything open, quick way to remove those um, is by pressing Alt F4. Anything that's in the foreground will close by pressing Alt F4. So I had folders open, I had uh, this paint open. If I press Alt F4, it's gone. W web browser, Alt F4, gone. Anything that's open, Alt F4, Alt F4, gone, gone, gone. Super fast. So there's a few quick tips for you. Uh, hopefully your web browsing is a little less annoying, a little less frustrating, a little quicker, a little less painful for your clicking hand. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.